Hey guys, so on today's video, I'm gonna do a wear test and then let you guys know how I like the Juvia's Place I Am Magic foundation. I finally got it in the mail. I was looking for it in stores and they were out of a lot of shades. So I decided to purchase mine online. Just go in the store, go in Ulta, like try your shades because they do have the testers there and then just order it online. So yeah, let's do the wear test right now. All right, so it comes in a bottle like this that you can squeeze out the product out. You get one fluid ounce of the foundation, which we all know that's kind of average for foundations to just have one fluid ounce. So this is what it's set to offer. Our second skin creamy foundation offers a smooth application with a soft, natural, and soft matte finish to give a flawless coverage. A great formula to even out the complexion, refine skin texture, and erase blemishes, maintaining the initial finish throughout the day. That is a bold claim. Suitable for all skin types, including sensitive and oily skin, which that is me. The shade that I got is Tangier. Tangier, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's number 520. So I'm gonna start by priming my face. Like I said, I'm gonna use the Soap & Glory One Heck of a Blot Primer. All right, so I'm gonna pump, pump, I'm gonna squirt out a little bit of foundation here. But I'll show you guys a swatch of it right now. I don't know, I'm thinking it might be too light, but we'll see. It blended out really nice on my skin when I was at the store, so hopefully it works out. All right, so I'm gonna do this side with a sponge. It feels moussey. Like you could tell it doesn't really have a lot of emollients in it. For the sponge, I'm gonna use the Sonia Kashuk sponge. I'm gonna switch it up from my usual sponges. I think the shade is gonna work okay. It's full coverage for sure, but it doesn't feel like it's cakey. It doesn't feel like it's too heavy on my skin. I'm liking that. It's really nice. I just hope it works well. I'm scared to put it on my forehead because I told you guys before that my forehead, for some reason, is a lot darker than the rest of my face. Usually I make it work with bronzer. If the foundation just looks too light. That applied beautifully with the sponge. I'm actually really surprised that it did because it's more of a drier formula. So I thought the sponge was gonna drag it in weird ways. I don't know if that makes sense. For the brush, I'm gonna use the Real Techniques number 200. This is their expert face brush. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing, apply the foundation on my face and then I'll blend it in. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead. The brush is leaving some sort of like strokes here and there. So you really have to make sure if you're using a brush to really buff out in circular motions. I'm just gonna go back in and kind of blend everything out with the sponge just to make sure that there's a real nice even application all throughout. All right, so we have one layer on my skin and that is the only layer that I'm gonna put because honestly, you don't need more than this coverage. I feel like I like this coverage for myself at least, and I feel like it covered everything really nicely. The shade is really good. I think I like the damp beauty blender or beauty sponge more so than the brush. I think the brush, the more I moved it around, the more strokes it left. So I think from now on, if this works out, I'm just gonna be using the sponge. So for concealer, I'm gonna do the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer since the foundation is kind of full coverage. I'm gonna do that. The only thing I've been doing differently with this concealer, I'll put it, I'll put a little bit on my hand and then I'll grab it with a beauty sponge and then go into my eyes. That way it's not a lot of product that we're putting on our face because my makeup style is a little goes a long way. 
And if it doesn't go a long way, then you add more, but I never add a lot to begin with. It's nicer to build up. It's kind of hard to take away. And then just like literally grabbing the sponge. I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild contouring palette. This is in the shade Coffee. And just dab this in. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop powder. I'm mainly gonna just put it literally just on my T-zone. And then a little bit on my forehead. This powder is like making the foundation look even more flawless. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and then I'll come back and tell you guys my initial thoughts on the foundation. I'll be right back. All right guys, so we're in front of my window now. I put blush, bronzer, blush? <laughs> I put blush, bronzer, mascara, and then if you guys wanna know everything I put on my face, I'll put it in the description box below. After I finished putting everything on, I ended up putting this on my face. This ColourPop All-Star Face Setting Spray is really, really nice. It does give your makeup a little bit more wear. But this is what the foundation looks like. In front of natural daylight, I'm filming on my iPhone and I like it. I'm not a fan of full coverage on a regular basis, but this is like a nice foundation that I can use if I'm ever going to like an event, like a wedding or I don't know. I always say events, like I'm going to events every weekend, but I'm like the most introverted person ever. But if I were to use this, I would probably use it for like a wedding on a hot summer day because this coverage is like everything. And this is me not knowing if I'm gonna like it or not, but so far so good. I'm gonna do a check-in as always. And then at the end of the video, I'll let you guys know if I like it or not. Does anybody ever do check-ins like this? Is this like unprofessional? Well, I'm gonna do it because this window has like the best lighting. Sometimes studio lights, like I said, just mess with the actual like, color and actual how everything looks right there. It's 3.51 and it's been a little bit over four hours. We're going on to four and a half hours right now. And so far so good with this foundation. I do look a little bit oily, a little bit. It's not even like a lot. And despite the fact that it's like there's oil coming through, the foundation's like not moving around. It's not breaking apart. The shade has been working out really nice. You could see right here. I don't really bring it down my neck at all. So it still blends really well. So happy that it's working out. So next time you guys see me, it will definitely be in my beauty room with the studio lights and everything. And I'll let you guys know my final thoughts on the foundation. That's my cat. And that's my dog. So it's 621 right now. So it's been about seven hours since we put the foundation on. And here are my final thoughts. I like the foundation. I think it's a good buy for $20, not too high. And it wears really nicely on my oily skin. I do look oily, obviously, right now. But considering the fact that I haven't blotted or powdered my face, I think my face looks pretty good. I do have some settling in my fine lines, but I feel like that is normal. Once I dab it away and then reset it with powder, I think I'll be good for even a couple more hours so at seven hours for it to look this good and still have enough coverage and still look even all over i think that's a good a good sign of a foundation so what i'm gonna do right now is blot and powder and then i wanted to show you guys how it looks after we do that i'm just gonna take this microfiber towel and just kind of press into my skin i'm gonna go ahead and set the face and i'm gonna use the nyx can't stop won't stop powder again So yeah, that looks really nice. I think this is an all around really good foundation. So if you can find your shade and you pair it well with a nice primer, I think you guys will love this foundation. Hopefully this review helped you guys out. Please let me know if I left anything out or any questions that you guys still have. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.